Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Dobbin from Nova Leap Health Corp. How are you today? Great, Tracy. Thanks very much for having me. You know, Chris, you have one of the best performing stocks. I was just explaining to my associate. In 2017, you had, what, a million in revenue and you've jumped to over 10 million in one year. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, exactly. In, uh, you know, about uh, close to 900 uh, percent, you know, improvement in, in uh, revenue, which we report in U.S. dollars. So, yeah, I think I read in your most recent fourth quarter results an 877% lift. Can you tell us a little bit about the highlights from this fourth quarter? Because obviously, Investor Intel audience members are going, what, from 1 to 10 million? That's, that's impressive. Yeah, I mean, it really goes back to our strategy, Trace, to be perfectly honest. I think we were pretty, pretty open with the market in terms of what our plans were. The tail end of 2017, we said that we'd do up to four acquisitions. In 2018, we ended up doing five. Uh, you know, our operations are performing well in the U.S. Uh, we made one acquisition in Canada in, in Halifax last June, uh, and we've come back out and, and said we plan on doing up to four acquisitions again in 2019. Um, so a lot of our, um, you know, revenue has been driven by the acquisitions, but we've been making, we've made some really, really good acquisitions, which will lead to some long-term growth for the company. So if you did it 10 times last year, what do we expect for 2019? Are you going to do it again? Well, 10 times might be a bit aggressive, but uh, we, we've certainly indicated to the market that uh, we plan on growing by uh, by at least, uh, you know, 50 to 100 percent. Um, and and that, that's not really from the the $10 million U.S. Or revenue that we reported in, in 2018. That really has to do more with our annualized revenue run, run right now, which is, um, you know, which is north of $15 million. And, and with the latest acquisition that we've just announced, uh, yet to close, but we're getting close. Uh, you know, we'll be close to $18 million U.S. in revenue. So, of course, for those of you out there in Investor Intel may not understand or have never heard about the Nova Leap Health Story before, Chris, can you give us kind of an overview about what the company is and the vision? Because, I mean, people like me, we've fallen in love with your story. Thank you. Sure. I mean, I'm happy to talk to the story anytime, obviously. I mean, we, you know, we're, we are in the home care services industry. And so we we help people, usually seniors, within their home. A lot of a lot of our client base has some form of dementia, but we're really after a demographic that is, you know, you know, fast growing. Obviously, it's you know, sort of the biggest change in our our lifetime from a demographic perspective. And we have people that have some form of you know long term or chronic condition that need assistance within their home, and we provide it. And so um, you know, our plans. Since we started Nova Leap Health Corp, was always to build a very large multinational company. Uh, you know, we have a fairly aggressive uh, uh, acquisition strategy and growth plan. We're ahead of where we thought we'd be after a couple of years. You know, I had a ten-year plan when I started this company. At the very least, we're two years into that. We've accomplished a lot. But for someone that's new to our story, I think what they need to look at is, okay, here's a company, here's a management team that's gone out. They said what they're going to do to the market. In advance of sort of the you know a year in advance, they've exceeded what they said they would do. They're generating real revenues from a real business. They're collecting those revenues. They're buying businesses at a reasonable multiple, which is attractive for a publicly traded company, uh, and they're delivering on their plan. So I think, from my perspective, as as uh, you know, one of the two largest shareholders in our company. Uh, obviously, I'm very bullish on our strategy. It's gone very, very well to date. We have a number of terrific people throughout the organization. We have a great client base. We've been very focused geographically, particularly in New England and, and now in Nova Scotia. Um, so we're really, really pleased with where we're going. And I think from an investor perspective, I would think that this is a pretty good entry point, just given the fact we just produced record results for our company. And, and quite honestly, we're just getting started. So, Chris, what we're doing right now is we're trying to encourage people out in Investor Intel land to send us questions that they'd like to ask you. And prior to this conversation, we sent out an e-blast. We asked everyone to give us some input on Nova Leap Health and what they'd like to ask you. And here was one of the questions we got. Actually, we got a lot of commendations for you that you're outperforming what they expected. But the, what they really wanted to know is what you're doing next. Can you tell us what you're doing immediately, say, in the next quarter or two? Yeah, so so uh, you know, I, I'll step back to say we did announce that we'll do up to four acquisitions in in 2019. Uh, we're we're very confident we can achieve that. 
We've just made one announcement that we expect to close by the end of April. And so that's an acquisition of an Eastern Canadian business. We've been very focused on, on two things. One is organic growth and ensuring that uh, you know, the companies that we currently have under ownership are performing really, really well. And we're quite happy with the performance to date. We still think we have a few improvements, but, but uh, really, really happy with the people we have in place. Uh, so that's the one is on organic growth, which is very important to us. And two, we'll continue to make acquisitions, which will still be or still form the bulk of our growth, uh, certainly in the short to, to midterm. So, Chris, thank you so much for the update. As always, it's a pleasure. Thanks very much, Tracy. I appreciate you having me.